We are going to work on a little single leg stance, a little alignment, single leg stance and single leg squats. So starting out with alignment, just standing ideally in front of a mirror, you're going to tune into your body and think about having your feet hip distance apart. So your heels line up with the middle of your back pockets. Hip distance is not way out here. It's fairly close together. It's about a fist space between your heels that varies from person to person, but they're not way out here. That's the important part. So heels line up with the center of your back pockets, weight equal on the heel and ball of your foot, bring your hands to the widest part of your hips, and you're just going to explore rotating your thigh bones in and then straight ahead. So as I rotate my thigh bones in my knees, caps turn towards each other a little, and then they come straight ahead. What you want to notice is as you rotate your thigh bones in, the arches of your feet will tend to flatten. Even if they're flattish already, they'll flatten even more. So what's happening at the hips can really impact what's going on at the knee, the ankle, and the foot. So where we'd like to be is kneecaps straight ahead. If you had laser beams on your kneecaps, they're going to point straight ahead. Some people's feet will not be pointing straight ahead when they're in this position. Lower legs can have a twist in them, so your feet might be pointing straight ahead, slightly in, slightly out. They might each be doing their own thing. What really matters for any single leg standing, squats, lunging, is where your kneecaps are. So in class, when they say feet straight ahead, they really mean kneecaps straight ahead. Let your feet be wherever they need to be. So then I'm going to take my weight over to my right leg, noticing where my pelvis is. Keeping my knee straight ahead, I'm going to take my weight on to my right leg. I would like to see my pelvis stay stable, so I don't want to see this happen, right? I don't want to let my pelvis dip to the side. Ooh, I can't even do that. Then I'm going to take the left foot down, take your weight over to your left leg. Same thing, watch what's happening at your pelvis and at your kneecap. Pelvis stays level, left kneecap stays straight ahead. If that's a challenge, your program would be to just work on this single leg balance. Be able to do this for 30 seconds with a level pelvis, no falling over, kneecap straight ahead. When that gets easy, you could do that with eyes closed. You'll see how much harder it is, but don't fall down. The next progression, you're going to take your weight over to your right leg, hips stay level, kneecap stays straight ahead. Notice what happens to the arch of your foot. You don't want it to disappear. We're going to do a little baby one inch squat. So it's a tiny little squat, keeping the hips level, kneecap straight ahead. This is where a mirror is really helpful, a mirror in front of you. The hope and the dream is you could hold this for 30 seconds without falling over or without losing form. If you're super wobbly, you can be near a wall or a countertop and have one fingertip for balance. It's amazing how much that will help you. Then we're going to straighten this knee. And we're going to come back down. So you might start ooh, with a five ooh, or 10 second hold, build up to 15 or 20 seconds. The goal is 30. And then we're going to come back up. We're going to stay on the same leg. We're going to do three times. I probably should have had a chair nearby, right? So alignment's really important. You'll feel and see some wobbling. That's fine. Connect your hip bones. Keep breathing. The important thing is pelvis level. None of this. Ooh. Okay. Switch legs and I'll show you how to do it wrong on the other side as an example. Okay. So find your alignment again. Take your weight to the left leg. You're going to pick your right foot up, keeping your hips level. Again, don't let them dip right? So don't let your pelvis tip to the side. That's usually what happens. So you're going to work this left leg, reach into the floor. We're going to come into a little baby squat, like one inch. I'll give you the side view. So we're keeping our alignment front to back. Body is staying upright. Trunk is upright. It's a little tiny squat. If I look, I'm going to fall over. It's one way to add challenge. We'll hold for about 30 seconds and then we straighten the knee. We come back in, keeping your alignment pelvis level, kneecap straight ahead. So if it's really hard to do this, again, hold on to a chair or a wall or a countertop. It's going to be close enough that you don't have to lean over. You'll feel some wobbling. That's all good. We'll straighten the knee again, and then we're going to come back in one more time. 
It also helps to find something to focus on. So it, it can challenge your balance a little bit when you're looking at your alignment in the mirror. So you might hold on for that part. Once you get it sorted out, try to not hold on. I think I did four instead of three. Straighten the knee, go ahead and release. It's nice to do a little quad stretch. After this one, thighs together, lift your pubic bone, lengthen your tailbone, pull this thigh backwards. For a lot of people, this is too much. I can show you a modification on this one if you need it. Um, if your leg's out to the side, your back's all archy, don't do it this way. Switch legs. So thighs together, lengthen your tailbone, lift your pubic bone, hip bones connect, core engaged. We'll take this left thigh back without getting twisty or archy in the back. 